Vancouver Aquarium will no longer keep whales and dolphins in captivity. Now Vancouver Aquarium has popped up over the past year or so on ScubaTube. This was mainly due to the sheer amount of deaths of whales and dolphins in their care. The last straw was back in November when their false killer whale sadly passed away, which uh, Chester, I do believe his name was. Anyway, due to the deaths last spring, the Vancouver Park Board actually banned the aquarium from bringing new whales and dolphins, which, you know, they've been trying to fight ever since, well, until now. The CEO, John Nightingale, has finally made a decision to stop fighting the band and also to take their last remaining dolphin, Helen, out of the park. So this is a great move, right? Well, yeah, of course it is, but it has now created a bigger problem. With the aquarium not having Helen on site, where will she go? She can't just sadly go back into the ocean. Uh, this means now the aquarium has to find a place for her to live. Uh, and when you add, you know, the, the red tape, this could take months or even years until the deal is done. And the sad thing is that Helen could end up back into another aquarium. Another thing to realise is that most of, most of, if not all the belugas in the Western world are actually from Vancouver. So technically, they own them. Um, so what's going to happen to them? You know, it's, I think they're all in sea life as well, they own quite a lot of them. Anyway, anyway, of course we're glad this move has been taken, but Vancouver Aquarium has a long road ahead. Do you think they've done the right thing in stopping to show dolphins in the aquarium or should the ban be lifted? Let's discuss in the comments. If you're watching this on Facebook, why not give this video a thumbs up and to our YouTube family, don't forget to like and share. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and safe diving.